One of the biggest questions we get asked at Coat is how much paint do I need? So we've put together these few easy steps and online tools to help you calculate exactly how much paint you'll need for your project. The first thing to do is just get the tape measure out. Whichever way you choose to calculate, whether you do the math yourself or use the online tools, you'll need the basic measurements of the room. You'll need to work out the square meterage of your room for a basic idea of the paint you'll need. In maths terms, that's length times width of your space times by the height. If you don't want to do the math yourself, once you've got the measurements, just punch them into our handy paint calculator on the Coat website, which will tell you exactly how many tins you need to order. So let's start by measuring this room. First of all, we measure the length of the room, then the width, and then the height. Once you've got your measurements, multiply the length of the room by the width, and then times that by the height, and that'll give you your square meterage of the space. You'll need to know how many square meters your space is to work out how much paint you'll need. Paint is sold with a coverage indicator. So here, for example, 10 meters squared per liter. So for a room that's 50 meters squared, you'll need five liters of paint. And don't forget, you'll need a couple of coats. We always recommend two to get the best coverage and durability. So you need to multiply your requirements by two. And don't forget the ceiling. That's just the basic length times width of the space that you've already done, but people often forget it. If it's just one wall you're painting, then things are super easy. Just measure the length of the wall and the height and times the two things together. So for ease, two meters wide by two meters high, you'll need paint to cover four square meters. Once you've got the basic room size, 50 meters squared for example, you can knock a little bit off for doors and windows. Coates online calculator will do that for you, but if you want to measure the doors, just do height and width, and the same for windows. So for a door that's two meters high and one meter wide, you can knock off two square meters from your overall room size. And don't forget to double your requirements here again. You'll need two coats to get the most durable finish. The other thing to consider with the room is the doors and woodwork themselves. Often people want a different color on the doors and woodwork, or at least a different finish. We always recommend Coates Eggshell product for woodwork, as it's specifically made to be tough and hard wearing for doors, skirting, panelling, and even metal radiators. So how do you measure these tricky bits? For skirting, it's just a length times width of the room multiplied by the height. That's usually around 20 centimeters for skirting. So working out how much paint you need really isn't that difficult. Start by measuring the room, so the length, the width, and the height. Punch those measurements straight into Coates paint calculator, and it'll tell you exactly how many tins you need. And then it's a simple case of ordering your paint. It's always better to round up than need to order paint again mid paint job. And if you do over order, it's easy to return your paint to Coat, or we can recycle it for you through our Paint 360 recycling program. Once you've worked out how much paint you need, just head over to Coat Paints, get your wall paint, wood paint, and all the tools you need delivered the next day.